last year was a, a big year, 2016, you know, rise to fame. Talk us through it. Well, it was a really quick year for me because Rio was never really one of my main names. It was always Tokyo 2020 and it suddenly went from, well, you have an outside chance of qualifying and then I managed to get the qualifying time and then it was swimming at Europeans and then Rio and medals and it was really quick and just really unexpected. And how was uh, that success received when you, when you came home, you know, part of one of the most successful ever Paralympics GB teams and then obviously swimming was a hugely successful sport mm -hmm. and then obviously your gold as well. How, how was that received when you came home? It was really nice to be a part of it because especially having the parades and being a whole part of it because I hadn't seen the Olympians before so it was nice to bring the Paralympics and the Olympics together so it was just great being a part of that little bubble. Mm. And obviously I'm guessing you had a little break after Rio, a bit of downtime and then you've obviously got back into training and we've started 2017. How has returning to training been? It's good now because I'm focused, I'm on to the next target, it's all about mini goals to help you get to where you want to be and it's Mexico in October so so like you say, Mexico there, you're looking ahead to the rest of 2017. What, what are you looking to achieve this year? I think it's just going to be to keep improving and just do the best that I can. There's not, I'm not going to put much pressure on myself this year because it's just after the Games and it's not really about um, medals and times. It's just about falling to the best that you can. And finally, we've, we're into that cycle now. It's about three and a half years to go. Tokyo in your sights? Oh uh, yeah, it was always the main name, so I'm definitely gonna look forward to it. Yeah.